For a look at the latest in local news in the news, the Jessup City Commissioners have a special call work session today at 11.30 a.m. at City Hall. On the agenda under old business, a review of their proposed 2022-23 budget under new business and executive session discuss personnel. Again, that's taking place this morning at 11.30 a.m. We'll have a full report for you tomorrow here on the local news. The Wayne County Commissioner is set to meet this coming Monday, first Monday in the month, June 6th. Again, that meeting gets underway at 6 p.m. On the agenda under presentations and announcements, Donnie Gray will be on hand with the hurricane preparedness plan for Wayne County. Also, in our new business, considering to prove a tentative agreement to accept Druid Hills Road that was tabled from their May 2nd agenda, considering to approve the 2022 Lamig price increase, considering to approve amending the fiscal year 2022 general fund budget through ARP for two Power Pro ambulance cots and a truck for maintenance department, considering to approve agreement between Wayne County Transit and Wayne and Ware County Board of Health Wellness Program, considering to approve changing the July 4th meeting day, considering to approve amending the travel reimbursement policy. Consider to approve RV parked off of Old Dr. Town Road. Consider to approve rental agreement with Pineland Mental Health. Consider to approve amending the parallel, parallel taxiway contract. Consider to approve nominees for the Board of Registrar's Office appointments on the agenda, several on the DFAX board, several on the hospital authority up for renewal. Items with the county administrator, items with the commissioners, all that set for Monday, 6 p.m. at courtroom C. Again, that's the Wayne County Commissioner's monthly meeting. Community-wide blood drive set for Calvary Baptist Church Gymnasium. The date, Monday, June 20th from 1 to 6 p.m. This is sponsored by the Jessup, Shr Jessup Shriners Ladies Auxiliary. You can visit the redcrossblood.org website and or Jessup to schedule an appointment. Walk-ins are welcomed as well. Again, that gets underway Monday, June 20th from 1 to 6 p.m. Again, a reminder, the Wayne County Summer Feeding Program is underway. It takes place today between 10.30 and 11.30 a.m., Wayne County High School, Martha Ralph Smith Elementary, Jessup Elementary, Odom Elementary, and the Community Center in Scriven, Georgia on Florida Street, also a site. Again, the general for information available for children 0 to 18 years of age, people with special needs. It's free of charge. Meals for multiple days provided in each bag. Breakfast and lunch will be provided in each bag. Pickups to drive through event. No on-site eating. Again, Tuesdays and Thursdays all the way up until July 28th. We'll be back with more news after this word from our sponsor of the commercial messages, so please stay tuned. Wayne County High School's graduation held this past Friday evening at J.C. Stadium. This year's valedictorian of the class of 2022 was Luke Hendricks. He was speak he spoke at the graduation. Here were his comments this past Friday night. Here we stand with roughly 13 years of school behind us. We have all the bumps and bruises of adolescence and hopefully the very scene of wisdom gained from them. We've gotten a world-class education, or at the very least, or world-class ability to navigate Quizlet. How can we not be proud? Not of what we have done, or what we will do, but of what we will go on to do. I'm convinced, my friends, that we have within us everything we need to go anywhere from here. We would be remiss not to thank those responsible for getting us to this moment. To the teachers and administration at Wayne County High School, we thank you. To the lunchroom staff and maintenance crew, we thank you. To this community we call home, we thank you. To our parents, we thank you the most. To my own family and friends, you have given me the greatest gift. You have believed in me, and I couldn't have done any of it without each of you. I am forever grateful. We are upon the cusp of infinite possibility. Ahead of us is life, the many years filled with experiences we've yet to know. We're just embarking upon this great adventure. To date, our lives have been fairly ordered and straightforward with our parents and teachers guiding our every move, with every year smoothly transitioning into the next. Our purpose and path clearly defined. But here we stand, boundless potential with lives to lead solely on our own. My fellow Yellow Jackets, today is the first day of the rest of our lives, but so is yesterday, and so is tomorrow, and so is the day after that. The decisions before us steer the course of our lives, and this will never cease to be true. Destiny isn't preordained. Rousing speeches and encouraging words do little. It is easy to be filled with hope and excitement and simply state that our lives will be great. It is easy to forget how we feel right now and fall into quiet complacency. The next thing we know, five years will have passed and we're no closer to our dreams. So how do we get there? How do we achieve personal success? To achieve success, a definition different for each of us, is to me to wake and face each day with an intention of being a bit better today than I was yesterday. We will not always succeed immediately, but that doesn't matter. Success isn't derived from perfection, rather the pursuit of betterment, both our own and of those around us. We must strive each day to move forward. Success isn't achieving every goal immediately, rather the pursuit of that goal and the growth we experience as a result. Success only turns to failure when you allow it to defeat you. 
Even to reach a goal, even not to reach a goal, isn't failure. Only if you give up without truly trying have you failed. Sometimes there's a bit of luck involved, or factors beyond our control in achievement of our goals, and it is natural for them to shift and change with time. But we are always better for having pursued them wholeheartedly. Theodore Roosevelt once said, It is not the critic who counts, not the man who points out how strong the man stumbles, or where the doer of deeds could have done them better. The credit belongs to the man who is actually in the arena, whose face is marred by the dust and sweat and blood, who strives valiantly, who errs, who comes short again and again, because there is no effort without error and shortcoming, but who does actually strive to do the deeds, who knows great enthusiasms and great devotions, and who spends himself in a worthy cause, who at the best knows in the end the triumph of high achievement, and who in the worst, if he fails, at least fails daring greatly, so that this place shall never be with those cold, timid souls who never knew victory or defeat. That quote was from 1910, and it still reigns true today. Learn to live without regrets, without allowing noise from critics to deter you. Mistakes will invariably be a part of our journey. We all make them. We cannot allow our mistakes to keep us in the past, mire us in what could have been if only we try harder or dug deeper. We, can, we can't allow ourselves to remain stuck in the past, forgetting about the future or the present, and its precious moments in that we will treasure forever. It is easy to look, always look back in the past with regret or focus on what the future may bring and not appreciate the present and all the richness it offers. You see, the past is only the present gone by and the future is only the present yet to come. If we forget to look around, take all in right here, right now, we'll be left with a little of either. So I compel you, my friends, to look around, look at yourselves and appreciate the journey that today is a result of. A journey that began for each of us in kindergarten so very long ago of the things you've learned and how you've grown in every sense of the word. Think for a moment how far away this moment seemed as we entered high school, or even at the beginning of our senior year. Just as fast as the day has come, it will disappear into memory. Cherish it, my friends. Take time to look around at one another, speak to one another, create memories to carry with you for a lifetime. Today we stand dressed in the same caps and gowns, but with every different direction ahead of us imaginable. Our possibilities are limitless as long as we keep them so. Be the man or the woman in the arena. Get up every day with a purpose to be a bit better. Never be afraid to have the dust of hard work on your hands. Never allow those quick to criticize you to cause you to stumble along the road to success. Ahead of us is life and all the beauty and grandeur are held within it. Let us go forward into it boldly and without regret. As we leave here today, so much will change, but one fact will remain. Together or apart, we will always be Yellow Jackets and we're better because of it. Ahead of us is life. Let's live it. Go Jackets! And once again, those comments are Wayne County's valedictorian this year, Luke Hendricks. Wayne County Catfish Tournament set for this weekend. Still time to sign up. Again, if you're interested, call the Wayne County Board of Tourism at 427-3233. Again, Wayne and Tournament Headquarters. Once again, at J.C. Fairgrounds at J.C. Landing this weekend. The event this weekend, June 4th and 5th. Again, the tournament begins Saturday at 12 noon. Continues until Sunday at 12 noon. Again, this year's tournament offers fishermen an opportunity to win a $7,500 first place payout with other place payouts determined by the number of entries into the event. And weigh in and tournament headquarters once again at the JC Fairgrounds at JC Landing. Those fishing the event can put in anywhere in the Ultima River, but they must be in line at weigh in at the fairgrounds by 12 noon Sunday. Term officials ask interest to please note you must come to the fairgrounds to receive your t shirt. An entry fee $100 per fisherman, a minimum of at least two in a boat. Big fish pot entry is $10 per fisherman. Registration can be done online at active.com or can be dropped off at the tourism board's office at the depot. Registration pack is available online or at the Jessup Train Depot. Again, if you need more information, call the Tourism Board Office at 427-3233 or check out the event website, waynetourism.com. You can also register on site this Saturday morning. And the fish are out ready for the Wayne County Catfish Tournament this weekend, June 4th and 5th. Recently, over three dozen pinwheels were placed in the ground on the Wayne Memorial Hospital front lawn by members of the Wayne County Exchange Club. Each pinwheel represents a substantiated case of child abuse in the past year in Wayne County. Several members of the local Wayne County Exchange Club came together to place them in front of the local hospital as a reminder of the innocence of children and a call to protect that innocence. The Prevention of Child Abuse is a service program of the exchange of all exchange clubs. According to the Wayne County Exchange Club President Jay Fulton, there were 40 confirmed cases in the past year in Wayne County of child abuse. Members encourage the community to come together to prevent child abuse and protect children who are at risk. We'll be back with some final news notes after this word from our sponsor of the commercial messages, so please stay tuned. Final notes in the news. City of Scrivener has a big event coming up in early June, the grand reopening of the Grace Community Center located at 501 Bill Royal Street. That event will take place on Thursday, June 9th at 5 p.m. The public's invited to attend. Refreshments will be provided. The public's 
You get invited to attend the big event again the date June 9th at 5 p.m. at 501 Bill Royal Street in Scriven, Georgia. Chamber of Commerce getting ready for their 10th annual Legacy Dinner. Tickets on sale for that event. Again, they're $75 each. And if you need a ticket, call the Chamber at 427 2028. Again, they asked you RSVP by June 17th. The date of the event is Thursday, June 23rd. The site, Coastal Pines Technical College. Again, the annual awards will be handed out. The passing of the gavel takes place in the 10th annual Legacy Dinner set for Thursday, June 23rd at 7 p.m. at Coastal Pines Technical College. The bike ride across Georgia is headed back to Wayne County. The date's June 10th, Friday, and June 11th, Saturday. Riders will begin arriving around 8, 10 a.m. that Friday morning. will depart no later than 6 a.m. on Saturday. 90% of the riders will camp at Wayne County High School. Many others will seek lodging in motels. Wayne County High School will be the host site where vendors will set up. And again, they're looking for vendors at the high school. If you'd like to be a vendor, again, they ask that you call the Wayne County Board of Tourism office at 427-3233. Again, they're looking for vendors. So if you'd like to be a vendor for that event next weekend, June 10th and 11th, then call the Wayne County Board of Tourism office. That's going to do it for the latest in local news. Sports comes your way in a few minutes. Bob Morgan saying have a great day.